Hi guys, today's video is going to be a haul video and as you know I don't do too many hauls and this video is going to be a small haul actually. This is stuff that I picked up on my, actually on Cyber Monday so I'm just going to show you really quick. This shouldn't be a long video, so I, I hope at least. Uh, so the first uh, things I'm going to show you are from ELF. Uh, so I'm just going to grab stuff randomly. I already opened the package as you can see. And um, I haven't... <coughs> <coughs> I'm, really, I'm actually kind of sick. So excuse all this situation. Um, so I haven't actually gotten around to using these products. But I swatched them and stuff like that. But I can't really tell you how good they are or anything like that. Uh, so I'm just going to grab stuff randomly. The first thing I got was the cream eyeliner. It just looks like that. I probably should have taken all this stuff out of the packaging before I started this video. But anyways. Alright, so I went for the one in copper. And I've been wanting to try these eyeliners for a really long time. And I never got around to doing it. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's very cute and that's what the product looks like inside so it's supposed to be a cream liner hopefully it's long lasting i'm not sure but i'm really excited to use this and i don't have any liners in like a coppery color so that's why i didn't went with the black one because i wanted something a little bit different okay next thing i got was a brush this is the stipple brush um so yeah I've been really wanting to try their stipple brushes. Um, super, super soft. A little bit too soft sometimes. I would like it to be a little bit more stiff. But I don't know. We'll see what I can do with this um, brush. Next thing I got was another of the Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder. As you know, I already own this one. I actually have it right here. Um, but it's broken. This is actually a different color. Um, I decided to go, I, I'm really happy with the bronzer, but I decided to go with a different color because, because of the blush. It would be really nice for me to be able to use the bronzer and the blush from the same kit, but I hate that blush. It's so powdery. It has like glitter in it. I don't know, I really don't like it. So I thought that maybe this one would be better. Oh, it's actually, wait, it's actually really nice. I mean, the day I opened the package, I didn't have that good lighting. So here with this bright lighting, it looks nice. So that's what it looks like. And obviously as my lighting is washing it out, but it's, a, it's actually like a bright pink color. There's a swatch of it. I really need to work on my lighting. And then there's the bronzer. So let me just swatch them for you. There you go. You can't even see the blush. Oh, there you go. It's a really nice blush. We'll see. Let's see how it works. Then the next thing I got was a glossy lip gloss. I don't even remember ordering this, but yeah, I got it. And... I've never tried their glosses before, except for the ones that come in the little tube like this. So that's what it looks like. It's a really nice shade of pink. Um, not too bright. Oh, and it comes with a little brush. So that's really, really nice. Kind of smells good too. It doesn't have like a strong scent. So that's that, and then what else did I get? Another lip gloss, and this one is, I mean, when I saw it on the website, it looked okay, but then, you know, when I, I saw it, you know, when I got the package, it looked a bit, you know, scary. It's a really bright red, but um, it's really nice. Um, very pigmented definitely so we'll see how that goes I don't have any like reddish glosses 
and I don't tend to wear a lot of red lips so this is a nice option to have like you get like a sheer reddish tone and I need to close my window because the sun is killing me okay that's better now I got <clears throat> uh, the HD blushes that everybody's talking about and they are comparing them to the formula in the OCC lip tarts where you only need a little bit to get a lot of product so let's see I have no clue why I didn't take this stuff out of the packaging before I started showing it to you guys okay so the first one is in Superstar and this is really nice kind of like a peach, peachy pink and the day I swatched it, I really, really liked it. Oops, that was a lot. So yeah, this is the consistency. It's like a thick cream consistency. And then you blend it out and it just looks like that. Obviously, you know, I need to do more blending. But it's a really pretty color. My lighting is really not doing it any justice. But yeah, that's that. And then the next one is in Diva, and it's like a really nice hot pink color. And let's see if I can swatch this one without making a mess. So that's what it looks like right there. And now, when I swatch it, it looks like that. So, they're really, really nice colors. Um, I can't wait to try them out. The day I did swatch this on my hand, it left like a stain on. So I have a feeling these are going to be long lasting. I'm not sure. I haven't watched any reviews about these products. But um, yeah. Okay, the last thing I got from e.l.f. I didn't actually get it from the website. I actually got this at a shop around my house. That they sometimes have e.l.f. products. And I got this Little Black Beauty book. Yeah, Little Black Beauty book. It's very compact and nice. It came in this uh, really cute uh, packaging. I don't know if you can see all the glitter that it has. Um, I was a bit disappointed, um, just a tiny little bit because the packaging is so big compared to what the product is. And then when I came home and I opened it and I saw this like little thing, I was like, oh, I was hoping it would be bigger, but anyways. So this is what it looks like. It has a mirror over here and it has a nice variety of colorful shades, a few a few neutral shades. So I can't wait to play around with this. I've been swatching them and the quality seems decent. I think I paid around five bucks for it. So that's not bad at all. Wow, my throat is really like acting up right now. Okay, and last but not least, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen that I posted a picture about a Coastal Scents order that I made. And I only ordered one thing, and something that I probably don't even need, but I saw it and I just wanted to have it. And it is this 252 Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette. And the back just looks like that. And I don't know why I didn't take this out of the packaging before I started the video. But it just looks like this. Um, <clears throat> it's nice and heavy. And when you open it. Ugh. Okay. So when you open it, you have a really nice variety of eyeshadows. And as you remember, they have another palette that comes with two <clears throat> little trays that you can take out like this this one has three which was what drew me to this palette now I was a bit disappointed because the eyeshadows are a little smaller than the 88 palettes you know that's like a dime size so as I was saying before I was really interrupted by a child I was supposed to be taking a nap um, okay let's grab this again this palette, um, the shadows are smaller than the 88 palette, which was a bit disappointing for me. Um, I mean, I need to consider that it has 252 eyeshadows, but anyway, I was expecting it to be at least that size. So here are the shadows. <clears throat> and as you can see, you get a really nice selection of colors. 
Here you have your neutrals, your pinks, reds, yellows, golds. It's really, really pretty. This one actually, I don't know if you can see it, but this one actually came cracked. Um, I haven't taken it, it has like a plastic uh, protecting it, and I haven't taken it out of the plastic because I just don't want that shadow to get all over the place. Next, it has the greens and blues and some browns as well. I should probably take this one out of the packaging. So as you can see, it has beautiful, beautiful colors. Um, I can't wait to play around with this palette. I don't know. I just thought it was a nice addition to add to my collection. Although I probably don't need any more eyeshadows, but oh well. And then the last one. I think the last one is my favorite. Uh, it's just a mix of everything. And let me just take it out of the packaging. So it's really, really nice. Unfortunately, the lighting is washing out the colors but I really like this one I feel like it has the most um, wearable shades going on I really like it it looks really really nice so I can't play to I can't wait to play around with this I haven't even like swatched them or anything because as you saw I just took it out of the packaging but let's just swatch a few oh they're so creamy wow Wow, these eyeshadows are so creamy. Let me see if I can get you to see it. Uh, my lighting sucks. Mm, a bit powdery, but I think you can work with them. They're really, really pretty. I really like it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my little haul. I hope it wasn't too long. I probably was blabbling a lot. So. Yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I will be doing a separate video showing you everything again. But in this case, I'm going to be like doing kind of like a mini review on each product. Um, I don't know, just giving you an idea of what worked for me and what didn't. And what I liked, what I didn't, etc. So yeah, um, I hope you have a great day, great night, whatever time it is that you're watching this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.